sine and cosine rule so before coming to this we are all familiar with what pythagoras theorem correct but there is a big problem with trigonometry what is a thing because we only apply what pythagoras theorem and pythagoras theorem can be only applied to right angles so what about any other triangle so there should be some rule right so this is the major drawback what is the major drawback only apply to right angle correct because they work only on right angles correct for this purpose we brought a new rule for sin and cosine rule to overcome this drawback correct so now i will teach you when we should use the sin rule when you should use the cosine rule respectively first let us take the sin rule and this is for finding an unknown side finding an unknown side so the best way to deal anything is to draw the diagrams If I draw a diagram, it will be easy for us to remember. So sides I will draw with the small letter A, B, and C respectively. Angles I will draw with the capital letter. Let this be angle A. angle b and angle c respectively so there is a very simple formula for this that formula is nothing but this is for finding unknown side using a sin rule there is a by sin a equal to b by sin b equal to c by small c okay small c by sin So this I have to put it in a box and so this is for finding what unknown side. So I'll tell you, okay. So this is a triangle. This is not a right triangle. Triangle. This is any. Uh, it can be square. It can be isosceles. It can be applied to any triangle. Correct. Now I'll tell you one simple example for the same. This is for finding unknown side. I'll just draw a triangle. I'll mark here x. This is seven centimeter, and then I will mark two angles. Forty-two degree, thirty-seven degree. The question is find x. So first thing is the previous triangle which I drawn. No? Draw the same thing first. Draw the same triangle. A, B, C, correct. Then what? Here it is angle C. Here it is angle B. Here it is angle A. Then write on the same formula. A by sine A is equal to B by sin capital b is equal to small c by sin capital c respectively now here we have to use what here it is a and b correct 42 and 37 is given so we have to only use which one in this i'll draw a box here 
a by sin a is equal to b by sin b. So now here a is what a is my x here b is what my 7 here so x by sin 37 is equal to 7 by sin 42 so i can just find x is equal to 7 into sin 37 by sine 42. So this is nothing but what 6.29 something you will get. You can make it as 6.3, approximately equal to 6.3. So this is a very simple way for finding an unknown side. Here it is, x is the unknown side. 